The Northern School of Contemporary Dance is in Leeds, England, and it recently did a diversity drive. I don't know about you, but when I hear diversity drive, I also hear the sounds of all the white people who are getting kicked out of their positions. If you don't hear that yet, you haven't been paying attention. So, this is a dance school, just remember. So, how did they eliminate white people in their diversity drive? Well, they got rid of ballet. So you weren't expecting that, were you? But ballet has been ditched as a requirement for school entry auditions because of its contentious nature. Yes, you see, I've never, like, thought ballet contentious or controversial. I, I dabble in the controversial all the time. A lot of what I do might be considered contentious. I didn't know that I had to sort of bring ballet in in order to go the extra mile. Never considered it. Personally, I've never had any interest in ballet, but also I've never seen it as particularly contentious either. But apparently, according to these people, ballet comes with the baggage of white European ideas, and yes, they said that. They also said that they're working to decolonize the curriculum. I always appreciate it when they say that. They're they use the term decolonize a lot to refer to removing white people as if only white people have ever engaged in any sort of expansion have only like done invasions it's only ever been white people but anyway yes apparently they're decolonizing the curriculum by getting rid of ballet to remove any what any reminders of white culture or any reminders of white people that's what they're doing Fran Francesca McCarthy is head of undergraduate studies there and explained to the Telegraph, quote, it's a very specific form, that is ballet, that is built around particular white European ideas and body shapes that are often alienating to young people who do not fit that aesthetic ideal, unquote. So, some people are overweight or otherwise incapable of dancing in a way that is ballet-like. Exactly how is that oppressive? How is that indicative of whiteness? I'm not really sure. Unless we go back to that, there was a, I don't know if I can find it, if I, if I can I'll put it on screen, but there was an old poster that was made by some of these people who were dismissing white people as being inherently bad and they referred to discernment and um, having standards as being white, which was I mean, it was, it was always odd when you see stuff like that because you're like, these people on the far left have exactly the same positions as the clan. Because if the clan were to come up with like a list of whiteness, it would be like standards. Yeah, uh, same thing. Anyway, that same woman elaborates by saying, these are issues relating to body, money, language, and movement vocabulary. Now, you might go, what the hell is she talking about? And you would do so with cause, but in fact, She's referencing vocabulary because of the term ballerina. You see, it's feminine. It applies to women. And that is also their problem because somehow tied to whiteness is the distinguishing between men and women. See, I don't actually believe this to be true. Just so you know, if you go over into Africa and tell people about current gender theory here in the United States, they would laugh at you, and rightly so. So it's not really a white thing to say that there are women and men. It's not. But it is for these people, because like that's a problem, therefore white people need to own it. And that's, that's where we are. And further, apparently female dancers do different tasks in ballet to men. Men do the lifts, like, and the catches of women. Like, you know, if I was doing ballet, which is not going to happen, I wouldn't expect to be asked to catch the man, because that's also not going to happen. We're both going to collapse. It's just a guarantee. It's also the way it works. I can't lift very much in this direction. It's like 30 pounds, like maybe 40. It's really bad. But in any case, these are, these are gender-specific issues. Uh, sex specific if you want to draw the distinction which there isn't one you know it's like I, I end up just talking in it's like I can't make intellectual arguments anymore because the the topics that I'm discussing are so basic like what is a man what is a woman what is a pregnant woman it's only women who can get pregnant you know I'm making these those such base statements that you would expect to be teaching to a five-year-old it's like how can I 
you know, how can I add something to this conversation? It's kind of difficult with these people, you know? So I end up just, it's just talking in these very obvious platitudes. It's like, yes, you're going to have trouble, you know, expecting a woman to catch a jumping man. It's just not going to work. But apparently that's offensive to the transgender community. And so for that reason, ballet has to go because white people, again, not really sure of the connection, but they're making it. So go with it, bigot, you know, and these changes apparently come after a three year process that started in 2019 with staff taking classes in unconscious bias. And for those who are lucky enough not to know what that means, that's when you accidentally say things or do things to indicate that you have a bias, even though you're exerting every effort to make sure that you're not. So using this method, leftists can determine that everyone around them is in some way biased against them and is oppressive, and therefore they can claim victimhood status pretty much no matter what. The most common example is if someone asks, where's your accent from? I get asked it all the time. And apparently that's offensive because it's equivalent to go back where you came from. If you interpret it in the most hostile way possible in order to maintain some sense of superiority that is gained from victimhood. That's our modern society. Yeah, don't you love it? But anyway, these unconscious bias classes apparently accelerated at this dance school after Black Lives Matter protests in 2020. So just to kind of circle back to using a Biden administration phrase, George Floyd died while on fatal amounts of fentanyl. So now men can't lift women in ballet because that's too white. You made it to the end. You either really liked or really hated that video. Let's assume you liked it. There are a lot more that you can choose from. And also you can follow me on Gab and various other social media sites. And if you are able to support the channel, that's an option for you too. There are links in the description below. Thank you so much.